Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and welcome to 4G and LTE Explained. So what is 4G exactly? I mean, we've seen it on all sorts of carrier branding and commercials and stuff. Sometimes we see it on the back of our phones or on the front of our phones, but there's no real widely accepted definition of 4G. So let's try to explain that. So as far as the name goes, 4G, the G stands for a generation of wireless technology. With each new generation, you get significantly faster data speeds, but it becomes incompatible with the previous generation. So you'll never see a 3G phone working on a 4G network. And there are carriers that have both 3G and 4G networks like Verizon. We'll get to that in a second. The first G, the original G, uh, was the old analog cellular systems. They were obviously super slow. 2G moves to digital, but they are still very, very slow, somewhere around 10 to 200 kilobits per second. The first iPhone was 2G. Fun fact. 3G is a much faster digital and it starts at around 384 kilobits per second. 4G systems like LTE and WiMAX claim to initially start out at around 5 megabits per second, which is a lot higher than all the rest we've already seen. But 4G isn't just faster than 3G, the 4G networks also tend to have a lot more capacity than the 3G networks, so you're going to see a lot less bandwidth caps when you're on 4G. When you're on 3G, you tend to be limited, and when you're on 4G, you'll see a lot more higher data plans. But the complication that has people wondering what really is 4G is the fact that there are some really modern 3G networks, like we'll get to in a second, that are actually faster than the beginnings of the 4G networks. For example, HSPA Plus, it's really, it's 3G basically, but it's really, really fast 3G, somewhere around seven megabits per second. It's been evolved for so long. T-Mobile runs an HSPA Plus network and they plan to continue to evolve it to get it up to 30 megabits per second. So instead of being left out of the 4G chatter, that's going to be the way of the future, they just figured they'd stamp a 4G sign on their HSPA Plus network and just declare it 4G. Because who's gonna argue? And one other difference between 3G and 4G, since we haven't mentioned it already, is that in order to hop on the brand new 4G network, like I said, it's probably incompatible, well, it is incompatible with the 3G network. So you need one of those new 4G radios in your device. And those are some very, very power hungry 4G radios. This is why in the United States, we pretty much haven't seen any device, any smartphone at all with both quad core and 4G because that's just way too much power for a single battery to handle. Phones these days have, you know, huge screens. They have extremely fast RAM, these great processors, but to throw 4G on top of all that would be a huge power suck for the battery. And that's why we haven't seen something like the HTC One X, which is quad core overseas, come to the United States quad core. If it's coming to the United States and you want it to sell well, you just gotta put 4G in there. And that's why they're saying, all right, we'll make a dual core and hopefully it'll have enough power to last through the day. Will we ever see a 4G quad core device in the United States? I don't really know. I did a little bit of a rant on battery technology already and hopefully if battery tech improves, we'll be able to see one. Maybe the Galaxy S3 will be quad core in the United States, but I don't really know yet. I'm hoping maybe the next iPhone. I don't know, competition is good. Uh, either way, hopefully this video helped to explain 4G for you guys. And just in case you were wondering, LTE stands for Long Term Evolution, and HSPA stands for High Speed Packet Access. I don't really know why those are named that way, but either way, give a thumbs up on this video if you learned something. Hopefully you guys like the Explain video series, and if you also have anything else that you want to be explained, something technical that I could break down and make a fun, interesting video, let me know in the comments section below that like button, but either way, Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.